self-discipline first because that's what was really lacking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that went along with that, not exercising or not eating, you know, healthy mm -hmm. was all from a lack of discipline. Sure. That was the mm -hmm. root problem. Sure. So all I said was, I'm going to do this. I'm not going to stress out about how much weight I lose. All I'm going to do is move 30 minutes a day for the next month. Hmm. Okay, so you took one step. one step. One step. This is it. But you have to know that when I say that, and I say it to people, you know, in my book and in the program, it's not like 30 minutes a day if I feel like it or if the weather, you know, holds up or, you know, if nobody, you know, wants yeah. me to, you know, come to their house and hang out and, it's you know, fold period. clothes or whatever. Yeah, no, it was no matter what. It was like barring my own personal hospitalization. Yeah. Yeah, my own, I will not anybody else's, my own. Moving. I will move 30 minutes a day. Mm. And there were okay. days, I'll tell you right now, there were, I can remember a couple times that first month where it was like 10 o'clock at night and I was almost talked myself out of it. And yeah. I said, no, mm. I promise 30 minutes a day. Minutes. So I'd throw on the watch and I'd like go outside and circle my neighborhood, you know? For 30 minutes. For 30 minutes, just to get it done. Right. And what was great about those nights, those roadblocks, those days where it was difficult, those were the most important days Absolutely. of that month. Mm. Because when I would come home afterwards, I would say, I can do it. I mean, I, I can do this. I did it. And, and if everything is rosy and, and, you know, there's no clouds in the sky, then we can't appreciate the sun, you know? Yeah. And so for me, um, showing up anyways was a big deal. Mm -hmm. You know, it didn't have to be the workout of my life every day. So it, mm -hmm. it started with exercise for you. Right. And you increased that exercise, too, before you really moved on to anything about food, right? Right. Well, for that first month, it was 30 minutes a day. And then the second month, I decided I needed to begin to incorporate nutrition. Okay. And so I thought, okay, I can't just go from, again, one extreme mm -hmm. to now I eat, you know, macrobiotically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I said is I'm just going to give up something really hard. Mm -hmm. And so for um, me, it was like, you know, some people observe, observe Lent. It was like mm -hmm. a Lent. I said, mm -hmm. I'm going to give up something really hard, which was all processed food, like sugar, oh, really? anything like, you know, cookies, whatever the case for may me, be. For me, that would be anything Mexican, Mexican really? food. Yeah. yeah, and you'd have to give that up for the oh, yeah. whole month. Yeah, that, that would be tough. Oh dear! But you could do it. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, he could do it as long as he's not living with me. Yeah. <laughs> no, so that's what I had to do, and so it was difficult. I mean, and of course, I was tested like the first second of the first day. You know, mm. where it was oh, like, yeah. oh, I ended up at a party that night. It was mm. like, you know, everything that mm -hmm. would have tempted me in the past, and it was like. I just knew that I had to do this, that this was my path. So that was the second month, and, and that's what's in the program. Mm -hmm. And then the third month is where I began to really implement what I call clean eating. Mm. And that was five times a day I went to eating smaller meals, and I oh, learned. Nice. Remember, because I was the process of mm -hmm. you know, informing myself, right. being interested in how my body worked. I was reading, and I was learning that I needed to re-stimulate my metabolism. When people are walking around with a lot of body fat, they're like a bear in hibernation. Mm -hmm. Their body... You know, it just wants to kind of, of yeah. it's just holding on. Yeah, it's holding on and it's, mm -hmm. you know, holding on for the great famine that, you know, yeah. never comes. It never comes. <laughs> no, because you're eating again, you know, <laughs> before the famine shows right. up. So I needed to create that famine. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's why I tell people, you know, it's not bad to be hungry sometimes. It's okay. Like it's. It's a feeling most of us experience very rarely. Right. We to think really we're hungry. Be hungry. Yeah. yeah, true yeah. hunger, I don't, I'm not really sure that no. many people have experienced mm -hmm. no. that. Mm -hmm. no. Really. Not so, in America. So it's pretty, you know, it's, it's exciting. It's exciting mm -hmm. because yeah. I believe that God that night in the car gave me that moment, that light bulb moment. If You know, people always say, mm -hmm. what's your light bulb moment? Yeah. Because as someone's listening today to this, mm -hmm. this is the light bulb moment for them. Like mm -hmm. this is God saying, listen, I was in the car with her that night, but I'm in the room with you right, right now. now. Right and now. I'm letting you listen to this mm -hmm. because you're in that kind of pain. You're miserable. You have put on that happy face. You have put on your lipstick and gone out and smiled to the rest of the mm -hmm. world, mm -hmm. you know, or for the man sitting at home, you know, he's been the strong guy right. and, and, you know, he felt like he can't talk about his weight because guys don't, you know, talk about the problem That's of right. having a weight right. issue. Mm -hmm. And I get emails from men all the time that say, I, nobody knows I really am bothered by this, yeah. you know, yeah. Um, yeah. but my story is about having hope. You know, it's about believing that That's it's great. possible no matter where you're at. And, and I believe that for me, it was so extreme. But the great thing is, is that's exactly why if you're sitting at home and it's 20 or 30 or 40 pounds, you can do this. Yes, you, know, you can. can. You can yeah. do this. Yeah, and the possible. power of God is with anyone who asks for it. And it's that's there. the blessing. It's there. We just don't even believe sometimes the plans. Who would think I would be sitting here today talking with yeah, you? That's right. right. Or having, you know, ran five marathons in a year. I mean, that's crazy. Incredible. That's crazy. Yeah. Incredible. It's crazy. We'll see you in a moment. Welcome back. You know, Chantel, we have only scratched the surface 
on all the things that are in this book that they can learn about Never Say Diet. Tell us a little bit about your projects coming up. Okay. Well, um, Never Say Diet is out in paperback. And in okay. addition to that, I have the Never Say Diet Personal Fitness Trainer. And that is a companion book for Never Say Diet where it helps you actually journal your own transformation. Mm -hmm. It's something I would love to have had. Mm -hmm. And when they asked me to write it, I, I wrote it exactly from that perspective. That so it will um, it will be like a monumental record, record of you doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in addition to that, I have a music project um, called Made to Move Music. Mm -hmm. And um, that songs that I have written and also some instrumentals that is available on iTunes and Starbucks and Walmart and that's music to work out to. So Wonderful. we've got everything to help you do this and that's and that's my good. dream, all, my all vision. Yeah, very exciting. That is right. Well, thank you so much for well, joining for us today. Me. It's been a it's wonderful been experience. You guys. And we thank you for being with us today and we will see you again next time on Lifestyle Magazine. Thanks for watching Lifestyle Magazine. We look forward to being with you again next week. For more information on this or any Lifestyle Magazine show, you can write us at Lifestyle Magazine, Box 1000, Thousand Oaks, California, 91359.